Hi, welcome to Take a Bre Break, Take a Breath for Friday, June 26th. I'm Rick Boyer, the pastor of Prospect Presbyterian Church, and Take a Break, Take a Breath is an invitation to pause in all of the things that press in on us and breathe to center ourselves in God who made us instead of all the things that call for our attention and demand something from us. To be present with the one who loves us unconditionally. So each time that I bring one of these take a break sessions right now, I've been leading um, a brief reflection on a psalm and we've been working our way in order through the Psalms and today we are up to Psalm 48. Psalm 48 is the third of a trilogy of Psalms 46, 47, and 48 about Jerusalem as the place of God's reign and where God's presence is represented. And Psalm 48 as the last of these in some ways is hard for Christians because we look at it and see all of this praise about the beauty of Jerusalem and the height of Jerusalem and all those things and we can get caught up in thinking that the praise is about the physical space and it may be in some way but it's also meant to be a metaphor for the pray for praise of the reign of God and God's presence in the world and so for all of us it reminds us of um, God's reign over all the earth and the psalmist reminds us that we can't walk around in that city in the reign of God and be the same. We are changed by having encountered the, the city of God, the place where God is. And in that way Christians can identify with it in the sense that when we encounter Jesus the Christ, the incarnate one, God in the flesh come to dwell among us. When we encounter God, we don't walk away unchanged. We are changed and transformed by the very presence of God. And we rejoice in that. So I'm going to offer a few verses that um, can be the focus for our time. We ponder your steadfast love, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your name, O God, like your praise, reaches to the ends of the earth. We ponder your love, O God, in the midst of the temple. If you haven't already done so, make your way to a nice quiet place in your house and close the door and settle into the chair and relax into that chair and close your eyes and take a nice deep breath and breathe in the breath of God and then breathe out all that separates you from God and keep those nice deep breaths going and as you do so allow the peace of God to come to you Nice deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And then imagine that the peace of God comes to you like a cool breeze. It's been a hot week. So imagine a cool breeze, and as you feel that breeze hit different places of your body, you feel the peace and love and grace and presence of God, and you can relax. Feel that breeze as it hits your face. And let the muscles of your face relax, and maybe even smile. Feel that breeze as it hits your neck and your shoulders and it brings refreshment and renewal and calm and peace and the muscles relax. Feel that breeze, the coolness that's 
that comes on your arms and your hands and maybe even hold your arms up and your hands up to feel it all the more and then let them fall into your lap. Feel that breeze as it comes to your body. To your chest and your stomach and your back. Let the muscles of your body relax and the tensions unwind. Feel that breeze as it blows on your legs, on your thighs, and your calves, and your knees, and your ankles, and your feet. Feel the cool refreshment of that air, and the peace that comes with it. You are surrounded by the breath and wind of God, cool and refreshing and renewing, bringing a new creation to you. And in your mind's eye, go to a sanctuary. It might be your home church, it might be a chapel in the woods at a camp, it might be a great big church or cathedral, it might be a little chapel out in the country. But it is a place where you can go to ponder the love of God. were there by yourself right now and you sit down in that church and you look around. What are the colors around you? What do you see and notice? Are there any sounds? What does it feel like in that space? What are the seats like? And then you notice someone else comes. And you know instantly that it is God. You can see God's love on God's face and in God's smile and eyes. And God sits beside you and tells you that God loves you. What will the two of you talk about now? I'll be quiet while you talk. And then the time comes for the conversation to end for now. And the two of you say goodbye in whatever way is appropriate. And 
after you've said goodbye, you let that image fade away. And you picture the room where you are. And when you are ready, you open your eyes. Well, let's take a break, take a breath for Friday, June 26th. I'm always glad for feedback. You are encouraged to send it to rick at prospectchurch.org.